Hey Cancer, hope you guys are all well. So this is going to be a general love reading for mid-June to the end of June 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And it is a general reading, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you would like a personal reading with me, you can find all that information in the description box. All right, Cancer, let's see. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. What is going on with you? second half of June. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed in this reading because it's general. All right, Cancer. For the situation, we have the King of Swords crossed by the Page of Wands. Okay, so somebody is either trying to make a decision here or is trying to find some willpower, some determinism in order to either make a decision or to take some kind of action. Um, I feel like really what is challenging this person is taking that first step. Just taking that first step. Just taking that initiative. Let's see. It could even be that this person doesn't have enough motivation. Um, so it could be you, could be them. Um, for you, we have the Sun, the Fool, and the Six of Swords. Okay, so Leo and Aries energy showing up. I feel like you were actually... You're, you're feeling like this is a connection where you, you've, you were either really, really happy in a connection, okay, that that already existed, that was already, you know, um, you were with this person, right? And everything seemed to be very, very, um, very happy. Or if it's not that, then you felt like there was the potential to have that. And it feels like you're just suddenly taking this leap of faith trying to move in a direction where you're trying to move away from conflict or you're either trying to move away from this connection or a conflict within this connection but it's interesting because i feel like you know as happy as you you thought this could be or as happy as you were it's like you're moving towards feeling like maybe you have to move away from this or from something within the connection and i feel like it's it's coming in a little bit unexpectedly so some of you may have already gone through this or you might be feeling this at the moment or it's coming up. Um, but you might have an idea, all right, that you might be moving in this in this direction, but it's, it's still going to feel sudden. Let's see for the other person. We have the Two of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Devil. Okay, so also Capricorn, all right? So some of you might be dealing with a Leo, an Aries, a Capricorn, um, or maybe you or they have these signs strongly in their chart. So this person also is in this, it, it, it's, it feels like a similar energy um, in the sense that they too felt like this could be very, very happy or that it could lead to, you know, this forever and ever love. Um, I see them, even though, see, it feels like you're the one moving away from this. You're the one taking a leap of faith or just, you know, moving in a new direction away from this and the other person is left feeling very hurt um they're feeling the pain of that so i don't know what might have happened before that um to lead up to this but yeah this person is feeling very hurt and possibly even just getting really really deep in their head about this or just becoming more and more more obsessed with you or just very unstable um, a lot of fears coming in or maybe even going through like a dark night of the soul type of an energy. Let's see the potential outcome here. We have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, so it feels like this is something maybe that has been building for quite some time or it's either that or it's just getting heavy very, very suddenly. And I feel like that's why you're, t you're taking this, um, this action here. So... It actually does feel like maybe for some of you, it could be that this is you and this King of Swords energy trying to find that initiative to be determined to either move away from this. Or it could be the, that the other person was stuck not being able to take some kind of action and that's why you're moving away, okay? It could go either way. 
Um, or maybe both are true for some of you, definitely. Let's clarify these. Um, I can't imagine this being easy at all because, like I said, I feel like you're both coming from a place where, you know, there was a lot of emotions here. There was a lot of happiness or the potential for that and also for, for love. I do feel like with that Ten of Wands, I'm also getting a sense of relief um, coming up for, I feel like it's going to be for you, not for, not for them just yet. Um, but it could be, it could also be for them because this, this Ten of Wands, I feel like it's, it's like releasing these, these wands, right? It's releasing this burden, even if it's not exactly what you would have wanted right now, but temporarily, or at least for the time being, under these circumstances, I feel like there will be a little bit of relief. And of course, it doesn't mean that this is an ending, um, a hundred percent. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. So let's see, let's clarify that King of Swords and the Page of Wands. All right, and we have the Three of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the Moon. Okay, so Pisces also showing up here. Yeah, it feels like, you know, there was something, something here, like there was some kind of a procrastination um, which may have been due to some kind of a fear in terms of working together or coming to some sort of an agreement, um, possibly even in terms of, it could even be something very material, like even work related for some of you, or this could just be, you know, like actually agreeing on how something should work out or how something should be done. So yeah, it feels like that's where this um, determinism just didn't really pan out from somebody's side. So just had the Hierophant flip over. Yeah, it definitely feels like a very strong connection here. And I can see that because you both have strong feelings for each other. But there, there's been procrastination. Um, and again, it's because of some kind of a fear. One of the two may have even been hiding something which played into all of this. Let's see that sun for your energy. And we have strength. Okay, so Leo showing up a second time and the three of cups. Yeah, I mean, again, there's not much to say here other than this was happy or you thought that this was, you know, your person or maybe you still feel that way. Um, I feel like you may have even shown a lot of compassion towards this person, a lot of empathy, a lot of understanding. I don't know if for some of you there may have been a third party involved. And again, I feel like this was something that you, if this was something from the past, like you were able to overcome it as well. Um, but things just felt like, you know, like you were getting stronger, this person was getting stronger, the connection was getting stronger, and things just felt like, you know, they were moving towards a very, um, good place. Let's see the full. And for some of you, this might even be, um, in terms of a reconciliation, like maybe you were building up, um, some kind of strength in in regards to a reconciliation with this person and you know being really happy about that so but something something shifting here so clarifying the fool we have the ace of pentacles and the four of wands it's almost like it's interesting because it's like you still you still see the potential here you still see the potential um towards having something very solid with this person. So I don't know if, you know, maybe the reason why you're actually taking this step back or I don't know what exactly it is that you're doing, um, but it does feel like trying to move away from some kind of conflict, trying to bring things to a more peaceful state. And it does feel like you're doing something unexpected. It's like you're doing it almost with the intent of, you know, this possibly actually working out in the long run. 
and having a more solid foundation or a more solid basis. Again, um, the rules can be reversed, okay? So just take the messages as they resonate. Let's see the Six of Swords. The Hanged Man and the Knight of Wands. Oh, okay. So it's interesting because, yeah, see, it's not really an ending. You're not, I feel like you're not really walking away from this. Um, I don't know if that's really your intention, but I feel it's more of, okay, you know what? Like I need to just avoid conflict. Like something's happening here. There's something we didn't agree on or somebody's procrastinating. There's some kind of a fear. And so it feels more of you trying to avoid any further conflict or any further pain either for you or for them or for the both of you and so that's why you're you're it's like you're just kind of taking a step back but i feel like you're not really like um convinced in that like like you might be doing certain things to step back but then you might be doing something else <laughs> Um, but for the most part, you are taking that step back. I feel like you're trying to just move away, take some action away from this. For now, at least. Let's see what's going on with the other person here. So let's see the Two of Cups. Okay, the Hermit, so that's Virgo. And the Three of Swords again. Okay, wow. Yeah, this person is um, really feeling this heartbreak right now. Um, I feel like this person has been feeling this pain even before. Even before you taking this step back, there's some kind of pain that they're that they're feeling here and not only that, I feel like this person actually has <clears throat> maybe pulled away a little bit initially. So that could be why, you know, you, you're deciding to take a step back. Because I feel like this person it has either, you know, just really like gone within or is just being, has been really quiet. But whatever is underneath that, it, there's heartbreak attached to that. It's not this person doing that, um in a cruel way. I mean, there's actually love underneath it all here with this Two of Cups. And I feel like this is something that this person knows deep down, and that's why we have the Hermit. Um, it could be that they're still discovering this for some of them, but I feel like, you know, they're, they're very much aware of their emotions for you. Let's see the Three of Swords. I mean, it's showing up twice here. All right, Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. Okay, so this is someone who does want, who does want commitment and long-term stability with you, but see, the procrastination is actually on their end here. It's showing up with this Three of Wands or something that they were waiting. Um, it could be for different reasons for each of you, but this person, I feel like, is wanting this and is thinking about it a lot in terms of the future but possibly possibly they weren't taking much action towards it at the moment but it's interesting because it still causes them pain and i feel like they are also feeling um this pain intensifying because of you taking that step back. Let's see the devil. The nine of wands and the four of cups. Yeah, it feels like things are getting um, a little bit more challenging for them as you take this step back. Um, It's like coming to this realization of how unhappy they are or just fully being able to feel this pain. 
it's like they're they're seeing something more clearly because this four of cups it's like really feeling this disappointment I feel like it's di it's it's directly related also to what is going on with you. Um, I don't see them really giving up though, in whatever whatever it is that initially they wanted, or whatever it is that initially you know they were procrastinating on. I don't see them giving up on that, but I do see them feeling that disappointment of not having gotten there, gotten to where they want to be, feeling the pain of not having this um, commitment with you, and this just feeling um, more out of reach for them. So yeah, I feel like things are going to get a little bit challenging for the other person here. But let's see that Ten of Wands, because like I said, I feel like that's some some kind of burden being released. So Ten of Wands. Six of Swords, Nine of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah. So, I, it almost feels like, you know, things are meant to get a little bit harder before they get easier for this connection. Um, See, with that Six of Swords, right, which is in your energy, that's actually leading to the Nine of Cups, which is emotional fulfillment, a wish fulfillment, happiness, emotional stability. So you taking that step back, you avoiding whatever conflict is happening at the moment within this connection, and that doesn't mean ignoring it. It doesn't mean that you're not facing some kind of conflict. I feel like, you know, you're you're actually trusting your intuition and you're you're just, you know, going with what you feel is the right thing to do. And yeah, it's leading you to a better place. And like so like I said, there's going to be some relief here. Right? 6 of pentacles. This is some kind of balance coming in. And so I feel like that balance is also going to be for the other person. It's like only in this way can the other person learn some kind of lesson and possibly even for you. You know, it goes both ways. I feel like there's some kind of balance that is happening because of you moving away from this. Even if it does create a, some pain for the other person. And apparently Sylvia wants to come on <laughs> the desk. Thankfully it's at the end. So... Cancer, if this resonated, let's get the final message for you. Yeah, I'm sorry you can't see the rest of her. She's a big cat. All right, and we have the full moon in Aquarius. Show the world the real you. So yeah, take that message however it, it resonates for you. It could also be referring to the other person. I see it more of being for the viewer, okay, regardless of which side your energy was on um, and this is all about just being authentic being authentic um, which also means you know not letting somebody walk all over you um, it also means not having to you know try to impress someone or you know just doing anything that you know compromises your integrity for any reason right just be you all right cancer those were your messages thank you so much for watching much love